Hi, it's Kevin Raber, and welcome back to the Daily Chat. Uh, this morning I got up with my coffee and sat down on my deck. It was a beautiful morning outside, and I thought, Antarctica. And why Antarctica? Well, let me tell you. Antarctica is probably my happy place, the place I go that just makes me happy. I feel good all inside. It's hard to describe. But there is no one that has gone to Antarctica that hasn't felt the same thing. So today I'd like to talk to you about my trip to Antarctica coming up in December, uh, November 30th to December 11th on the Sea Spirit. And it's going to be one heck of a cool trip. I have partnered with the Mensch Workshops and we're working very closely with them to uh, take and make an amazing trip. Now why this trip is so much special than just booking a trip to Antarctica on your own is that this ship is full of photographers. So anybody on this ship is a photographer or related to a photographer and they're some of the best photographic talent uh, you'll find out there on this trip. Um, some of it coming from Mark Mensch, but like Katrin Eisman will be there, Mark Mensch, uh, Taylor Stone and a few others. Are, it's, it's just going to be an amazing trip. And anyway, let's talk a little bit about what an Antarctica trip is. A lot of people have misconceptions and thinks it's really freezing and you're going to need 5,000 layers of clothes. Uh, when we go down to Antarctica at the beginning of December, it'll be like mid-spring. And it's really a good time to go because a lot of the penguins are beginning to hatch, so you'll see baby penguins. Uh, we'll be visiting a lot of nice places, and the temperature probably will average anywhere from 25 to 40 degrees. Um, there are a lot of issues going on with climate change, which we'll discuss on the trip, and Antarctica is being affected by it greatly, so uh, we'll be able to witness some of what's going on and become more aware of that as, as we go on our trip. You're going to get the opportunity to do a lot of things. The first thing that happens is we fly into Ushuaia. Ushuaia is at pretty much the bottom of the world. And uh, I suggest that you fly in a day or so early. Make sure your luggage gets there. Make sure there's no cancellations along the way. And if you do get there early, there's plenty to do in the town of Ushuaia. Normally, I do a little bit of last-minute shopping. I buy a couple bottles of wine to bring on board. And uh, there are a national park and some tours to some places uh, that you can do a day trip on. And, uh, once we know who's all going and what days people will arrive, we'll see if we can schedule something uh, along those lines so that we can stay occupied and kind of uh, break out and get our gear working. Uh, the day of our cruise, uh, probably mid-afternoon, we'll board the ship. And the Sea Spirit is a beautiful ship. You'll see pictures of it uh, as well as uh, pictures of the, the cabins in the description uh, on the Rock Hopper website. And uh, we'll begin our journey. Now, we're going to take about two days to cross the Drake. Uh, now, that can be a lot of fun, but it is a, a trip that you, you, you earn your wings. You really have gone to Antarctica if you've crossed the Drake. Uh, so if you are prone to seasickness or anything, you want to be prepared for that. I'm not going to hide and say it's going to be fine. The Drake's either a lake or it might be a shake. So once we get to Antarctica, we'll get to Antarctica, and each day we're going to do at least two landings and Zodiac cruises, not to mention ship cruises. The photography is going to come at you quick, from landscape to wildlife, to animals chasing the boat, to whales, to penguins. You're just going to be amazed. And so we'll have very busy, and because the sun hardly sets at that time of year, uh, very busy in long days. It's going to be fabulous. The skies in the morning and in the evening, as the sun's beginning to dip below the horizon, only to come up in a little while later, are just going to be spectacular. Uh, we'll be doing Zodiac rides. Everybody does Zodiac rides to get back and forth to the shore. Uh, usually about 10 people in a Zodiac plus an expedition guide and an instructor. And uh, we'll be photographing the most beautiful icebergs you can see. Most likely we'll find a number of uh, leopard seals or other seals uh, hanging on ice flows and so forth, which uh, we'll photograph. We may be lucky enough to encounter some humpback whales, maybe even some orcas. Thing is, every trip has a special moment, and you don't know what that special moment is until it happens. And then it's just like, OMG, you know, you just can't believe it. Antarctica is that place in my heart that I love so much that uh, I took my wife down there. She's been with me twice to Antarctica. And uh, I got married on a beach in Antarctica on a whole ship of photographers. Uh, Michael Reichman was one of my best men. Art Wolf was my best man. Christian Fletcher. I mean, it was a big, 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 big group of everybody. And we just had the most fun. And that's pretty much what happens in Antarctica. 
Uh, we'll have lectures where you can learn things and make your uh, trip more enjoyable. You'll learn about the wildlife, you'll learn about the ecosystem, you'll learn about photography. And then there's an instructor around all the time to help you get those pictures that you want. I come home with at least 9,000 to 15,000 images per Antarctica trip. Um, I'm getting a little <laughs> less trigger happy these days. Uh, a lot of that's because we're photographing multiple and moving things and so forth. Anyway, I just want you to know that Antarctica is the place to go. We're offering some really terrific discounts. So take a look at the web page, look at the cabin you like, look at the price, and then call me. And you'll be surprised what I can do for you. So I'll get you in last minute at a really good price. Uh, and I'm talking really good. So please, Think about Antarctica. It's not too late. It's the beginning of December. Give me a call if you're interested. Let's talk about it. I'll share more of my adventures with you. And <laughs> let's just have a good time. It'll be a trip you'll never forget. Anyway, thanks for watching The Daily Chat. This is Kevin Raber, and I'll see you tomorrow.